Hey YouTube, I recently completed my first microcontroller based project, a handheld version of the game Pong using an alphanumeric display. During the development process, I had to solve a number of technical problems which I had never before encountered, most of them involving how I interfaced with the display and handed it data. The first problem was getting my microcontroller to speak the same language as the display, in this case, 8 bit parallel. All the data and instructions for the display is meant to be transferred over eight data lines and two or three other lines for telling display where the data is meant to go. Luckily for me, there are lots of other people who have already written code for this in many different languages, so I was able to work from their examples. The big lesson I learned from this was bit masking, which allows you to determine whether a single bit inside of a byte is set to one or zero. Let's say I wanted to send the byte hexadecimal 7a to the screen. This has a decimal value of 122 and is represented by the ASCII character lowercase z. The eight data lines, which are db0 to db7, correspond to the eight bits in a byte, two to the power of zero up to two to the power of seven. The value of the bits in the byte I want to send must be applied to the output pins I'm using on my controller. When you use the logical AND function, you are comparing bits to each other. The AND operation only returns a 1 if both the input bits are 1s. In order to find the state of all 8 bits in the byte, I perform logical AND between the byte I want to send and a bit mask. To find the state of the 2 to the 0 bit, I AND my byte and the byte 0, 1. This has the binary value of 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. If my byte has the 2 to the 0 bit high, then the AND function will return the value 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. My actual byte 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0 has the 2 to the 0 bit low, so the AND function will return a 0. That value is applied to the output pin I am using for db0. The pin will be active when any non-zero value is applied, and inactive when a value of 0 is applied. For the 2 to the power 1 bit, I AND my byte and the byte hexadecimal 0, 2, which has the binary value of 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. Looking at my byte, we see that the 2 to the power 1 bit is high, and therefore the AND operation will return 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. This is then applied to the pin I'm using for db1. This process is done for all the bits in my byte, and all the pins used for my data lines db0 to db7 now have the values of the individual bits of that byte. Once all the bits are set, I can send an enable pulse to the display, which indicates that the data lines are now set to the desired values. By putting this process into its own subroutine, it became possible to quickly pass data and instructions from my Pong program to the display. In part two, I will talk about how I was able to get bitmap graphics onto this text-only display. I hope you found this video interesting, and if you'd like to see more like this, check out my channel. Thanks for watching.